Yo, what's going on guys? It's Witcher Extra TV here, back at it again. And today, guys, we're back here on SnowRunner once again, as you guys can see here. Now, for today's SnowRunner video, guys, I actually have this brand new mod to go ahead and check out for you guys here today. Now, what this mod is, is a 1975 Ford Bronco. Now, in the truck store here, you can go ahead and pick up this bad boy for a whopping $8,579. Not too bad. Now with this mod guys, sadly it is not console friendly, however for us PC players we can go ahead and purchase this bad boy and go ahead and run the trails on it. So I'm going to run through the customization for you guys here today and then we're going to get to some tests. Should be pretty fun, haven't been on this game in, not going to lie, a few months. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do end up enjoying today's video, make sure to drop that like, it really does help me out. As well as subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's go and hop straight into the customization. So here we go. So for our engine, we're going to have one option here, and that's going to be the good old 302. Can't go wrong there. Six-speed gearbox, that's going to be our only option. We're going to have two options here for a suspension. So that's the main part. Pretty happy about that. Uh, currently, what you're going to start out with is small spring overlift, and this is, okay, we get a little lift. This is the bigger spring overlift, and of course, for $110, we're not going to pass that up. Uh, for the tires, we are going to have some options here. I believe I did read in the description that um, some of these tires did come from uh, T&B Big Dubs 420, if I'm not mistaken. However, not all the tires did come from them. But we are making a pretty big rig out of this bad boy here, and it's got to be a great crawler, so that's why these tires are going to come in handy here. So we're going to make sure to go with the biggest and the best, the 37s, and I really do like the Niddle Mud Grapplers, however the BFG MTs you cannot go wrong with. Uh, a lot of good options we are seeing here for this vehicle. Uh, still figuring out. We're not going to go money with it, so I'm not too sure if we're going to get the Super Swampers. Um... You know, might to just go with the good old Nitto Mud Grapplers. So, we're going to go and buy those. These are the 37-inch tire version. And for the winter, I'm going to have one option that is stock. Uh, for visuals, we are going to have a couple of different options here, I do believe. Okay, not in the front bumper, but I'm okay with that. Uh, how about for the rear? Okay, we're going to have some options for the rear. Oh, nice looking rear there with the Ford right there. All right, so we can have the trailer hitch. Uh, Jerry can. Unstalled trailer hitch is what we currently have. Uh, stock spare. I mean, I wish it was kind of on the other side so it's not covering that beautiful Ford there. And then we can put a top on it. And uh, I'm really feeling the top, so I'm going to put a top on it and a trailer hitch. About jerry can. I guess we can throw one of those on as well. And a stock spare would be nice. Um, but it looks a little bit cleaner. It says Ford there. But the Ford Bronco uh, cover on the spare tire there looks all right as well so we're going to keep that there and stock rear bumper uh now for our rims here's our stock rims here they look all right on it um however we can put american racing black rims on it so you already know that's what we're going to do and to finish off the build with a nice color here um let's see a lot of good options hmm definitely going to have to go with and the bronco just looks good in like almost every color even this this weird looking color there I mean, I don't want something too flashy like this really light blue here. Um, of course, not purple. Red looks all right. I'm, I'm digging the red. I'm not too sure about you guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys do think of the build. Uh, overall, that's our 1975 Ford Bronco. Let's go and see how it performs. All right, before we go ahead and start up, and here's baby Purr. We have to just take a look at everything here. Uh, as we did see when selecting the gearbox, it is going to be a six-gear gearbox. Of course, with this Bronco, it is going to be all-wheel drive, uh, engageable all-wheel drive. We do have all-time diff lock with this beautiful Bronco here today, as well as a 30-gallon tank. And that's about it. Let's fire this bad boy up. Ooh, sounds good. Got the dual pipe series. You can see, you can't really see them, but you can see the exhaust. You got the idea there, the exhaust coming out of both spots. Uh, sounds great, that 302 sure is purring at that idle. Uh, sounds great. Um, let's go ahead and see the mudding capabilities. Alright, we're coming in. Alright, we're coming at this mud hole in fifth gear. We are now slowed down to second, so we're crawling through. Alright, we made it to third. That's our first mud hole done. Let's move on to the second one. Uh, she's definitely performing alright. We're taking her deep, deep. See how all-wheel drive works. That, that might be nice, you know? 
surprised I haven't thought of that. Uh, but yeah, we made it through the first mud hole. Easy peasy. Uh, let's turn off all wheel drive, see how it does. It's actually doing better, surprisingly, when it's not in all wheel drive. My phone is currently dead right now, so I did forget to uh, do a stopwatch with this, but it is what it is. We're mainly just looking for performance on this vehicle, not necessarily time. But after seeing the performance that it did just put out in that mud hole, uh, so far a big fan of it, and um, I definitely do like this build. She sounds good. Hope you guys can hear it loud and clear. Not too sure how loud I have my game audio up, and there we go. Flew through that mud there, kind of like just floating across the top there. Um, let's take this thing. Let's take it over some rocks, you know? Let's take it over some rocks. See how it does. I believe I'm going to take it over these rocks. No, no. I mean, I can, but these rocks are the OG tests. For those of you that have been around on the channel for a while, watch me review many mods, and uh, you guys will know this is the this is the main rock crawling test since the beginning. So we already know we have to take our crawler over it, see how it performs. Um, yeah, it did great through the mud holes, and uh, still looks great. It was a little bit more beat up and muddy, but hey, that's how it should look. Uh, front end's a little bit a little bit beat up, but. We are going through rocks, so you gotta keep that in mind. Alright, got a little bit of air right there. Um, see how it crawls over these logs here. Alright, only taking a little bit of engine damage. Hasn't really done much to our engine yet. Um, Alright, there's one engine damage right there. So we gotta make sure the tires hit first and not, uh, not a front end there. Not a front end there, and then will be good alright this thing uh, you know built for crawling doesn't sit too tall I mean it's running 37's uh, the tires themselves don't look like they have much grip but however I did pick them out and um, I don't know they look like they had more grip than a couple, few of the other choices that we did have you know the truck itself doesn't sit too wide so it doesn't have much room to get too much grip on uh, a lot of stuff you're crawling over. Uh, made up over those logs just fine. Uh, right here, I kind of just mess up. Um, it's time to test the winch out. Perfect place to do it. And uh, just until we get traction right on over that thing there. And uh, now we're approaching some more um, rocks, but this time on a hill. So we're gonna test how it, how this Bronco here is gonna handle steep crawling. So so far it's just make it swing on over the rocks like it's no problem. And uh, now we're going downhill, bouncing up over some uh, some logs. Now we're on some rocks. We didn't take too much damage uh, overall through that. Um, okay, that's our first flip. Uh, that's where our winch is gonna come in handy for the second time. Uh, I'd like to stay in the middle here. However, the winch can go pretty far for a stock winch, so big fan of that. Uh, you know, that winch is definitely going to be a big helper when crawling, especially in a vehicle like this. You know, a little bit tipsy here and there. Alright, a little bit of a nosedive, though. Nose dive. That was uh, our first experience of, um, you know, more of a harder wreck. <laughs> so, uh, I did see a little bit of, um, a little bit more engine damage, as well as some suspension damage there, so... Um, not too good. Might have to get a little bit of a better landing next time. Um, in all-wheel drive, the steering's going to be a little bit iffy, so about miss that turn there. The brakes do work well, so, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, they, they do work well. I thought I was going to run off there, but I did hit the brake, so kind of worked. Um, I guess we're driving under the, the ramps now, if I can fire it up. Nope, got fired up there just for a second. Um, good to go now. This is where the uh, first person is definitely going to come in handy here, so. Oh. Or, might get out of this, who knows. Alright, oh. Maybe not. But you definitely do see a lot better in this first person, so. Uh, however, the game itself, even though there's nothing in your way, it's, it's going to think something's in your way, so. That is it. I don't know why I keep clicking that. Uh, that is it for our 1975 Ford Bronco. Not half bad, I'd give it. 7 out of 10 stars. 
in about every category because for the price you really can't pass it up for eight thousand five hundred and seventy nine dollars you'll definitely complete a lot of tasks in little amount of time and will definitely get over most ob obstacles that are in your way so overall great build big fan of the bronco really did like all the customization options and i'm a big fan that the build just looks just so well put together and once again seven maybe eight out of ten stars for an overall in every in about every category for this bronco it really really just was a great performer so overall big fan of it really do recommend it and that is it for the build that is it for his video hope you guys did enjoy drop that like if you guys did once again subscribe if you're new and you have not already and make sure to hit that little bell next to it so you never miss a new daily video from me and uh, let me know down below in the comments which guys did think of today's video. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to make sure you guys stay at night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.